Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson, and you're not, and you're Will Crosby, and I'm not, and somewhere out there is Zach Crosby, audio only because Skype sucks. Gentlemen, doesn't Skype suck? Skype, Skype sucks. sucks. Gentlemen. Uh, Will, we saw you the other day, I'm assuming you're still okay? No COVID? Uh, no COVID, doing good. Zach, COVID check? I've been tested twice, and I hope to never have to Whoa, again. Whoa, rich boy, rich boy, baby boy, getting them two tests done. <laughs> wow. Good for you. Yeah. My my nose is forever clean. Oh. They have to go deep, don't they? Although, I, I realized oh, my so friend deep. who just sent me, uh, she makes beef jerky, and she just sent me a bag of it. She had COVID severely, so... Should probably wipe down the you beef jerky. <laughs> probably just throw it. Well, either throw it away or wait the what is it like two weeks or something that they say. Well, it was like a month, month two months ago she had it, so I think I'm okay. okay. Um. Anyways, we're playing Astroneer. Let's just get right on over to that game, Daddy O. There's the game. Um, this is the sandbox. This is season six. Can you believe that we're on season six of this? Will I couldn't believe it this morning when my brain couldn't do the math. So, Wait, I should include Zach in that, because Zach, you've been in every season as well. I think so. This is crazy. I'm... Yeah, yeah Zach, Zach was here for Ark, Terraria. Oh, Ark. I was just thinking, I was going to text oh. you this morning and be like, remember how bad that game is? I was going to text you because they were tweeting. It's like they're... They, they had like an Independence Day update, mm -hmm. and I like couldn't <laughs> recognize the game. It was so stupid. Do oh, you... Uh, so bad. You know what? Um... What's the game that Obsidian is making? And it's like, honey, I... Grounded. Yes. That one, I saw some gameplay footage of it because they released some more recently, like a 30-minute gameplay footage. It looks like a very refined version of Ark, which is pretty neat. I'm excited to play it now. There's that... Uh, so I was I bought things on the Steam sale today, and the game that kept popping up with, to me was... I think it's called The Isle, mm -hmm. and it's a survival game with dinosaurs, and it has oh, like, yeah. it's early access and it's super positive reviews. And I just looked at it and I was like, I don't care how good this is. I can't send this to Ian. <laughs> I'm not playing it. <laughs> he will not think it's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, this is, let me just do a quick intro because we, we're rip roaring ready to play and chat. But this is yeah. The Sandbox. This is a game where we, uh, a series where we play games. Um, sorry, I'm just, we play creative survival co-op games kind of like sandbox games basically look we play games like that we really enjoy it let's play some astroneer uh gentlemen what's your experience with astroneer uh i played it a little bit like a year or two ago mm -hmm. and then uh i've i've just been watching uh, uh Vinny and brad of giant bomb have been playing it so that's kind of the only content i get gotcha uh as far as looking at it can you stop attacking me with this research item <laughs> Um, I, I played a decent amount of it, but I think it was like three or four years ago. So I, it's exciting to see how much has changed. Um, I'm kind of excited. They've added like, they changed the science system. I think they added automation today. They've added a bunch of exploration and stuff. So I'm excited to see uh, what's going on. Uh, Zach, you got any experience with the Astro Nier? I downloaded it today. Oh, good for you. Are you in the game, by the way? I'm assuming you are. Yes, I am. I was the one hitting Will with the research object. Got it. So just keep doing that. Um, mm. Okay, so I started I, a hole over here, by the way. I did the tutorial, or I did a, a large majority of the tutorial. I couldn't do it all because I had life in the That's way. disgusting. Um, and so I got to the research things. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so what do you have to bring those somewhere to get them uh um if the little ones you can like click on and do it but the big ones you have to bring to like a thing i think yes that's correct gotcha. so i may have missed something in the tutorial so i may ask for help what? yeah that's fine there's just like we gotta kind of explore because there's no compound or resin near us why why isn't this tether connecting do you see is it close enough? Yeah, it's right next to it. Oh, weird. Oh, I hurt myself. That is... Do we need... Oh, does the base have to have an oxygenator? Oxygenator? Yes, which I think... Okay, let me grab this, this pad and deploy the starting package. 
Oh, I didn't know we had a starting pack. This should be the oxygen. Oh, we meter. have one. Yeah. I think you can just put it down. Yeah. I'm gonna unpack it. Uh oh. How do I get rid of this? There it is. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna run tethers to these crashes over here. Okay, and we got a we got a medium printer as well. Cool. And a platform, um, right? So they just did an automation update for this game, which I think is perfect for us because we love automation. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, so this is debris, which I think we have to run through like a, a reclamation machine. I'm just gonna put all these things <clears throat> over here. Oh, I see, I see, I see a solar over here. Okay, I'm gonna. So I, uh, I dug a hole over here, which <laughs> it's annoying because the tutorial starts you with like the smoothing out and everything. Like we don't have yeah. that on our guns. Um, oh, we don't? No, we got to research it. So we'll eventually get it, but uh, I'm just gonna kind of run out and try to find some compound somewhere. Yeah, how I found you... a little bit. Oh yeah, that's how you made tethers? Yeah. Gotcha. I'm just gonna run around. So there's a bunch of debris I got quartz here. Latinite. Um, okay, I got half oxygen. I gotta run back. Okay. Oh, I found another um, science. I'll come back and get it. I found this uh, medium wind generator on this debris, so I'll throw it over here. Oh, perfect. So I'm I'm excited to play this. Um, I, I actually had a lot of fun even in the bare bones version that I played several years ago, and it feels like they have made a lot of positive improvements since then. Found compound. Move that there. Put this here for now. I'll put that there. Yeah, I just, there's something about like the terraforming in this game that is like, really good it's strong uh uh red faction gorilla vibes oh yeah yeah i can believe that so there's some oh that's clay i'm gonna go get that other research item i think we definitely need a smelter yeah okay i've got some compound which we can make to make more tethers Oh no, I need oxygen. It's weird. I can I can only see Well unless unless Zach you're very far from the base. Yeah, I'm very far from the base. Oh okay. So maybe I can only oh, see. Oh I'm gonna die. Gonna yeah, you gotta make sure. That I I it's funny, when I first saw this game I was like, man, I would hate that tethering concept, but I think it's kinda like keeps you grounded. Yeah, and it's like a like a breadcrumb system in a way. Yeah. And if you oh, ever yeah. get lost, yeah, exactly. You can just follow. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Power cells. Nice. We'll just respawn. Okay. All right. So and it's nice, like you can just drop them with T. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I had a bunch of tether bundles on me. How do I uh, equip them to so if, drop them? So if you just do uh, T, it should auto equip. Yeah. Weird. It didn't do that for me. I'll That's fill that. Thought. So if you click on your backpack, the two top ones is where they should be. Oh, okay. Those are like the feeding ones, but you can also put like a work light or a, uh, like you can put a small wind generator there. Ah, the wind generator. And uh, I believe tethers you like pick up in place, stay in place no. versus ones you just drop can move. Oh, really? That sounds annoying. Yeah. Um, they, it might have changed. I, that's kind of one of the things I picked up from Brad and Vinny. And when you're walking, right after you disconnect from a tether, you can place one and it will reach. Yeah, I did. So that's that kind of how you know when to when to drop. One. Wow, we really don't have a lot of compound near us. No, there's uh, so over where I am, my tether's out. Oh, there's a little far. So that's the thing is I I can't. I can roughly see where people are, but not really. Like you probably can't see where I am, right? No. Yeah. But if you follow the tethers to the debris and past, uh, that's where there's a compound farm. 
Got it. Um, but I might have actually just run out, so. Okay, well, I'm going to drop a bunch of resin here. I'm also going to put... I don't think this guy's doing anything. Prints okay, large objects. So what can we print right now? We can print another large platform with resin. Research chamber is resin and compound. I think I think we should get a research chamber going because yeah, I agree. We've got two we got two science items over here. I think that's the other thing I'm I'm really looking forward to this is at least with Minecraft and Terraria, I kind of knew the progression. Mm -hmm. This you don't, so it's brand new. Yeah, this, I, I don't know. And, like, even from watching Vinny and Brad, I, I don't know what they're doing. I'm just, I'm just there for them. So it's like, yeah. okay, I'm just collecting a bunch of compound. Same here, I, I found some in a different direction. Oh, I found a bunch. Uh, did you watch the cyberpunk stuff today, Ian? No, I decided I'm definitely going to buy that game, so I'm just not going to watch anything. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of, I'm along the same route. Um, I only tuned in because I just wanted to see what, what kind of what they were doing, and it was kind of, it was kind of lame. Like, they're pitching this as they're going to have multiple episodes, so there'll be more episodes coming out. Mm -hmm. um, but just what they showed was, like, they showed, like, a Batman-style investigation thing you'll be able to use. Yeah. Uh, when playing the game. And uh, I don't know. It, it was so, like, niche that it was, like, it was too it was too much. Like, it felt like too much. Oh, like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't a good demo item. Yeah, I was like, why are you showing this? Like, I, it like felt like I was watching an in-game tutorial. Yeah. Uh, but I'm still excited for that game. Uh, they did say that there will be two types of uh, male genitalia and one type of female. Um, Love it. And multiple uh, sizes of male genitalia. And five different types of uh, pubic hair. So just get excited, you know? Hmm. Um, okay. I know I am. Hopefully we won't run out of energy. Uh, yeah. I feel like the next time we really talk about that game is will hopefully be out. Yes. No, I've done a bad thing. Stuck in the hole. The amount of times I've laughed at uh, Brad and Vinny getting stuck in a hole. And then you do and it now immediately. Realize <laughs> I've done it immediately and I've almost killed myself. Oh, resin. I'm gonna make another. What is it? Is it. It's tab. Oh no. I think we need to get some power generation going. Uh -oh. Zach. Here. What are you saying? Oh, yeah, I can't wait till we can get a flattening tool. Oh boy. So how you been? How you been, Zach? It's been a while. I'm good. Uh, still got a baby. Ugh. Yeah. He's still around. <laughs> and uh still working on it. How dare he? Is, yeah. that, is that your, but is that your that, first child, or did you just get rid of the others? Uh, it's the first one that's uh, hung around this long. <laughs> the rest we usually give away. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a pure blood. <laughs> That'd be a very depressing joke if you guys had a miscarriage before this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I shouldn't have made that joke then. Um, but, yeah, so it's going pretty good. And then... Uh, uh, my business has taken off, Woo! which is nice. What do you, what's your business? Good? Facebook Marketplace. Oh, that's right. What do you? What we're doing? You're doing CNC uh, router stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm making uh, kind of like topographic maps, mm. and people are buying them like hotcakes. Um, 
So it's pretty Did somebody steal the battery pack off the shelter? No. There is this research chamber here that hasn't been unpacked. I know, because I, I just had to build a... Um... Oh, okay. Ooh, what does work light need? No, but seriously, did somebody steal the battery off the shelter, or did it just disappear? Uh, I don't know how to do that, so... It was it was over here in front of this wind turbine. Unless it just... Oh, definitely not me. Maybe it just consumes it. Maybe it wasn't like a storage, yeah. it was just a... Oh, I think batteries get consumed, yes. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's something I remember from watching. What do I need for... Oh, a work plate. I need to zoom in. Okay, uh, um, I put all this compound over here. Okay, I think we need to work on power generation. Yeah. Alright, what do you need me to get? Uh, we need to research power generation, right? Yeah. Or we need small generators? We can do small generators and then... Can we build those? Yeah, we can do small generators and put organic in it, right? There's plenty of organic around. Um, so, Zach, one of my favorite things. What, what color? I'm red. Who's what color is everyone? I don't know what color I am. I'm peach. I think, Ian, you're blue. I'm blue. Okay, Zach, where are you? I'm peach. So the cool thing about this game is the awesome. Uh, I, I get so much joy out of these cable plugs. They just look so cool. Oh, yeah, they're so good. Where? Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so I made. A generator and it said it was done so it should be in your backpack i don't see it in my backpack maybe it didn't actually finish oh there it is it put it somewhere else okay oh i put it on my head so four minutes 55 seconds hi red sentry oh yeah i don't have chat up i should probably get that um, he says, long time no see this game. Yeah, it's been a while since any of us have played it. Uh, and it's first time for Zach, so it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Oh, no. Why Why would that tether drop all the way down there? I'm going to go ahead and make a large... Well... He said, go get some rare runs. Rare science. I'm going to go ahead and make a large printer, just because I have compound for it. Okay. Whoa. Stretch that one I out. wish I could see. Um, let's see. Is that going to suck it over? Oh, that's not a good way of putting it. <laughs> oh. Oh, it did. Cool. All right, I'm going to go get more compound. Good. There's a bunch of compound over there. That's true. You're just gonna get more in general. Yeah. Okay. I got a bunch of tethers. I'm gonna go back over to my farm, but yeah, I gotta re. We gotta research uh, landing stuff. There it is. Oh yeah. 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 Karen that... says that's the game that I'm playing because she sees me watch it all the time. Yeah, that's right, Red Sentry. So the cables are the tethers. So they kind of keep you connected to the oxygen. Yeah, it's a twofold. Like it's, it's a, um, it's something I wish Minecraft had because it's a a breadcr breadcrumb trail, like you said, mm -hmm. and it also lets you know that like you're in an inhospitable place. So it's like a weird, like I don't even know how to explain it. Like it's, it's a lifeline but you can break away from it sometimes, but it's just really cool. I like it. Yeah, the only problem I had with it the last time I played was the more tethers you put down, it started to, to really affect performance and start causing wonkiness, and I really hope they fix that because it's like, it's pretty necessary. Oh. Why, is our, why is our tether? Oh, this one got disconnected. How dare you? That one's good. Yeah, Red Center brings up a good point. He says it's been like four years since he's seen this game. I'm wondering when this game originally came out for early access. I think it's been like four years. Yeah, I can't remember. I know I know it was out for a while, and then I remember uh, Samantha Coleman joined the team. Uh, yeah. Joined the team and fixed this, the, the uh, research mining tool. 
which is funny because I know her uh, from the first time I ever saw her. The first time I was ever introduced to Giant Bomb was PAX East 2017? 20, no, 2016. Yeah. Uh, was the uh, PAX Royal Rumble. Oh, and she yeah. had been the champion. And my friend Josh was just like, hey, come to this panel. You've never heard of wrestling, but these guys are funny and you'll like this. So I went to it. Oh, Red Century has a good idea. They should add big tethers. Oh, that is a good idea. What is Saffalorite? Oh, I don't uh, know. It probably, so there's two stages of everything. There's the raw and then the broken down. So it probably smelts. If you look at your backpack, it might tell you what it transfers to. What is this? I have a tether bundle oxygen transfer. That's what that means. So it's zinc material. So it it probably breaks down to or furnaces to zinc. There's a giant hole here that I'm gonna cover. Try to. Oh, I can't cover up because I don't have the tool. Don't have the fill tool. Ooh. To carefully walk back up. Okay, I got some of that safflerite coming back. We need to. Yeah, I got a lot of sap. You want to check that All research? Right. What do we do next? What do you think? A smelter? Two hundred ninety-two bits. What was? Uh, so we have a small printer. I did. Mod. I did a large platform and a large oh. printer. I think. Let's go see. What is that? What is a camera for? Small camera. Unpack this. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, I, I will say, Red Century. This this game is a bit beefy. How do? Uh, Need copper for a work oh, wow. We research like wind energy. Uh, well, we at least have this small turbine over here. Oh, I see how this thing works. Small generator. Ah, uh, so small wind turbine is 500 bytes. And you make bytes? I don't, yeah, I don't... by researching. So we're at 400 bytes right now. Do we need that small wind turbine? Because we got a bunch of organic. Yeah, it's whatever. Like the wind just like just and the wind turbine you can put on your backpack. No, I'm just saying just in terms of next step. What do we want to shoot for next? What are we going to unlock? Uh, I think it's kind of whatever. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what huge thing next. <laughs> I gotta put some. Oh, is there storage? We should unlock some storage because then we can put the compound and stuff on the storage and it'll automatically pull it off when it needs it. You know what I mean? Like from the network. Yeah, does it? Or do you, we need to set up robots to pull it off, right? No, I, I thought if you just have a s storage and it, the storage is attached to the network. Yeah, maybe. Uh, from what I gathered in the trailer, it looked like the robots, but I don't I don't know, so it's yeah. worth a shot. But at least the storage, we won't have stuff laying around on the ground, which could always yeah, glitch yeah. out. I'm kind of just exploring right now. Yeah, that's fine. We also need to unlock beacons at some point because that'll help us. Uh, I can make a beacon. Oh, you already. make a beacon already? 
Yeah, so I say if you yeah. find anything good, like a big patch or something, then... I just need quartz. Mark it down. Um, Zach, if you come across, or in Ian too, if you come across, like, hostile plants, you just have to dig around them so they fall and explode. Oh, gotcha. Good to know. Man, I just, I... I research item. love the research gathering in this game. Yeah. Like, it's just such a satisfying action and the noise. Um, ooh, Red Century's asking if we played a game called Death Road to Canada. You guys? I, I've heard of it. It's actually on my Steam wish list. Um, from what I remember, so there's my friends have a podcast that they do video game stuff on, and the episode I was on, they had played it, and it's kind of like... From what I gather, Oregon Trail, but more graphically intensive, and you can like stop places and go and search them. But you name like all the characters, you can like name them after your friends and all sorts of stuff. Um, I heard it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna look at what. Uh, speaking of the Steam sale, did anyone buy anything off of it yet? Yes, I did. Sale? Started. What'd you get today? I bought. I bought a uh, hard space ship breaker. Uh, mm. May stream that this weekend. I also bought scrap mechanic, and I also bought okay, give me a second here. Excuse me. I also bought um, satisfactory. Ooh. Man, you kind of make me want to spend more money. No, I mean we're gonna we're gonna play it eventually. So. Yeah. So I so. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You, let me know how hard ship space breaker space break 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 is, because maybe I'll get it to play with you. Um. So I, I bought Arma three, uh -huh. because I want to do stuff with that. And it was only nine dollars. Wait. So when you were playing. Uh, DayZ, you were playing Arma 2? Arma, th yeah, Arma 3 wasn't out when DayZ was a mod. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, so, yeah, uh, I bought Arma 3. I bought Doom 64 because it's the only Doom game I haven't beaten other than Eternal. Okay. Um, then I bought um, Fahrenheit. That's one of the Quantic Dream games. Because mm -hmm. uh, it was cheap, and then I also bought Outward, uh, that I kind of have a stream idea for slash want to try out. It's another, it's another, it's not a Kenshi type. It's it's another recommendation from the guy who recommended Kenshi to me, uh, the, a YouTuber. So I want to try that out. It's like a brutal RPG co that just has straight up local and online co op in it, mm -hmm. and like you just like the world reacts i like games when worlds react to you so like you can just do stuff and then just get arrested and you're stuck in your house for like eight eight years or something for right, a house arrest nice. or something that sounds cool and i'm i'm considering getting rim world because yeah the number one piece of feedback i get on my dwarf fortress video is dwarf fortress is dumb i just play rim world because it's easier um and it's it's never goes on sale ever. Uh, if you're a humble bundle member, you can get 20% off of it, um, and it's 10% off right now on Steam. Like the RimWorld people don't put it on sale because they say while it's in early access, it will not go on sale. You um, know what? I think I may own that game. Do you? I don't think you do. I probably would have pawned it off you by now. I know I've played it before. I may have actually, uh... Um... Unless it's not family shareable. Okay, I'm making a... I made a smelter. I gotta make a... Okay. I dropped off another research object. Where is it at? It's right next to the thing. Oh, got it. Okay. I'm bringing back another one. Okay, perfect. Um, but yeah, Out Outward is like a, like a full-fledged co-op RPG. Um, I've heard about it before, and it 
kind of turned me off because like people weren't really ra uh oh who shut off my oxygen uh oh someone shut off my oxygen uh i'll, I'll try and fix it real quick <laughs> uh i'm gonna fix it i that's that's stupid why would it let you do that what did you do okay you should be good now. okay I'm... the Okay, so you know how I interacted with the landing pad and yeah. it dropped stuff, right? So I interacted with it again and it was like, hey, do you want to drop this stuff? And I'm like, yeah. And I expected it to give me duplicates. And no, it just, it deleted everything that it had dropped before and simultaneously put packed items back on the pad. Oh, so instead of giving weird. duplicates, instead of saying, no, you've already gotten this stuff, it just took away what it had already given you and then gave you fresh ones. Uh, yeah, I guess it's in case, like, it glitches out or something. Yeah, it's just weird, that's all. But the stuff I had in progress, well, I think it threw it off. It should say, like, hey, this will respawn everything and it, you won't get duplicates. Yeah, it, it just says, it says recycle extant startup package. Reinitialize cargo drop. It's, it's, yeah, it's, that's that's too unclear. Um, Sorry, boys. It, wow, this thing's still resurging. Well, that's the second one. Oh, gotcha. Um, do we have? Oh, smelting furnace. Can I unpack this? No. We need a platform. Platform is being built. Oh, you do. I didn't know that. Yeah. Once the platform's done, then you can put it on there. No, that's fine. I I, I just didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna go I explore wanna, more. I want to get these storage items up, so I can. Because the nice thing is, like, the smelter, right? You have to feed the smelter. But if you have the smelter, and then there's a storage cube next to it with a bunch of stuff on it, it should auto pool from the storage cube, or at least it did the last time I played. Got you. Okay. All right. This is gonna go. Um. Uh huh. I don't remember where I was before the oxygen. Oh, I was just saying about outward. I think it'd be fun to try like a, a co-op thing with it because it's apparently like it's a brutal world. Um, oh, and you can do co-op. So, yeah, it, it's like it's built for co you can do local co-op like it's built for it. Wow, that's pretty um, crazy. So it's only it's only 15 bucks if you want to pick it up off of Steam. Um, I'm kind of mad. I, I meant to pick it up. I, I don't. I, you don't play older games, but I have had such a kick of. I just. I buy things predominantly off GOG now instead of Steam, because mm -hmm. GOG is a DRM free and B like they have so many cool extras, and uh, I don't know. It's just like I don't know what it is about it, but I like feel better buying it off GOG. Um, also, I, uh, I, so my dream, uh, not dream, but, uh, on Tuesday, I showed you how I was building those little big box, uh, versions of PC games, mm -hmm. mostly cause I, I want to end up collecting them and like making a, like a nice shelf or something with them on it. But my apartment's tiny, so I'm just building these small ones, but I, I still like track them on eBay and I snagged a time gate night's thief night's chase time gate night's chase that crappy game i was playing before dragon lore for 14 dollars for the entire sealed copy oh. of it uh it's it's it will be immediately unsealed because it's crushed gotcha. so I, yeah. plus i i have no uh res I, not respect but i don't care if a game's sealed or not i will open it like I think that's a stupid thing um, if you're not going to, like, look at the stuff. Um, but it's funny. I It led me to a sealed copy of the game Stonekeep that was, like, $10. And I was like, oh, I'll take a look at this. And it, I think it ended up selling for, like, $300. And I was like, oh. Jeez. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Much. But apparently uh, someone tweeted, someone I follow, there's a ps2 collection of all the kingsfield games which are uh early from software games mm -hmm. um and i i plan to play them on stream at some point but it's like the 
it, it's like this dark box that comes with three PS1 discs and a PS2 version of Kingsfield 4. And I was like, oh man, that looks so cool. Looked it up. Like the lowest it's gone for in the past like five years is $400. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> I was like, nope, nope, I'm good. It's like, I'm in this because I think old PC like big boxes are cool because they used to come with like two inch thick manuals not because i want to like spend money on them yeah um so we do need some more resin if you guys come across oh i've got tons of resin on me oh oh, red sentry has a good idea will i want to get your visceral reaction to this streaming viscera cleanup detail oh go to kill yourself no, we've I'm tried kidding, it but we've tried it that game is just it's the most games too boring game that's, we've ever streamed. that's one of the few games where we have one of the few streams where we have bailed on a game halfway through the stream it was it was so bad like i don't think the, i don't know what it was it's like just it's a i've seen putting. people play that game i have played that game solo a little bit it's not that bad but as soon as we started streaming it it just well it was like I don't even know how to explain it. It just was not fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't even know. Viscera cleanup detail. I made a, I made a, I made a custom graphic for that game too. I was like all prepared to shoot it too. I think that's the fastest stream that's gone off the rails. I, there was an episode of scan lines that went off the rails where I like played all those alone in the dark games. And I just ignored you because I thought one of the voice actors was the same. Isn't that what happened? Yes. And you were, I want to say you were half drunk. You weren't like actually drunk. No, I, you had been. I, I'm not even sure if I was drunk at all. I think I was just being an asshole. I remember you saying you had, you had been drinking or like had drank or something. Um, I can't, or, or something. Someone who never drank. You don't. Well, you rarely drink, I should say. Because I drink. <laughs> Just Ian's way of saying he was like explaining why he was an asshole. He wasn't actually drinking. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I was so drunk that day. <sighs> Will, you don't remember? You were the drunk one. <laughs> Me drinking real good. I uh, I usually have you guys on in the background while I'm Ugh. playing games or doing something else. Why would you do that? That's <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I don't like it that. Took me, it took me until, like, literally halfway through your conversation, and that's why I finally chimed in with, like, oh, I'm on the stream, too. I need <laughs> to say something. <laughs> that's like uh, forgot. It's like on Giant Bob, whenever when they used to do UPFs and Steve Kim would be on the couch. I think he's done it, like, two or three times, and he just doesn't say anything. <laughs> like, nothing against the guy. It's just kind of funny. It's like... You're part of the show now. I know you're a huge fan, but you're part of the show. It was great. There's one. There's that moment. It's like an early U, UPF where Brad doesn't talk for the first like 45 minutes, and then there's like a silence, and he just goes, "Hey, did you guys see that thing about one of those Harvard books is bound in human flesh?" <laughs> <laughs> and Vinny just goes. What the f, Brad? <laughs> like, wh where have you been this whole time? What? Why would you talk about that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I just thought it was interesting. He's like, what? What? <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna segue into something interesting. So, do you guys know about the Cannonball Run or the Coast to Coast Run? Yeah. So that's uh, it's from the Red Ball Garage in Manhattan to the I think it's the Portofino Hotel in Los Angeles. And basically, I thought it was the Santa Monica Pier. No, it's it's in Los Angeles. At least I'm pretty sure it's in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The across the country runs are different. Yeah. Um. So basically, the the previous record was something like 27 hours or 28 hours. But because of the pandemic, people have been breaking it recently because the traffic is less. So like, somebody got I think somebody got like tw like 27 hours flat or something. Until recently, Jeez. just this past week, somebody came out and said, and they did a full interview, they took pictures, and they had people who, like, verified it, basically, and they said, um, they said, I did it in 25 hours and 55 minutes, 
by myself what? in a rental car. And they basically, they rented a Mustang GT. They took out the passenger seat and the rear seats. They put in like, I think it was three extra fuel tanks. So they only had to make one fuel stop. Um, and, and they were using cruise control at 120 miles per hour, but most of the time they were going 159 miles per hour. <laughs> and they did it solo, 25 hours, 55 minutes. That's bonkers. Jeez. What? Yeah. Uh, I brought back another piece of research, by the way. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, so we're unlocking a whole. Well, not we're not unlocking, but we're getting a whole bunch of. Wait. Oh, uh, so this this um, furnace you have to take off. Whatever gets finished. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How much? Oh, we got a thousand bytes. I really don't know what the research process is. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go back exploring again. I got more tethers. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't understand this game yet. Yeah, I think I think like two or three sessions in, we'll be like, I wish we could start over. Well, yeah. I, I don't think resources will be that bad. No, 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 no. not in that sense. We have this. I'm gonna put this over here. Um, into the Gungeon from Red Century. That's definitely something you're familiar with, Will, right? I love Into the... Karen and I love Into the Gungeon, despite we've never made it past, like, the second level. Um, that game is great. My one gripe is the second player always... So, when... To add a second player, you talk to the character, the cultist, and the second player plays as the cultist, and the second player can't play as any other character. Oh, and that, I think that's the stupidest thing. That stinks. Um, but Enter the Gungeon's good. I, I haven't tried to exit the Gungeon, Gungeon, Gungeon. Uh, but whatever they do next, um, probably be a, as long as it's co-op, be an instant buy for me. Yeah. Um, that's a game that's been a long, around for a long time. I, I'm watching through old uh, UPFs, um, and they had just played. I think I'm in 2015, and they had just played like an early build of it. Well, you know what I need is this. Is there a small? Small printer. Yeah, there's a small printer. I think. I think we don't have one. Let me make it real quick. It's just, it's it's not super clear what can print on what printer. I kind of wish it was more like you can print anything on any printer in a way. If that makes sense. Oh, I found a, I found a medium solar. There we go. So sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean anything on any printer. I meant like a medium printer can print anything medium and small. A large printer can print lar large, medium and small, but it's not like that. Yeah. So it's just kind of confusing. Yeah. Um, which I guess could make sense. Yeah, I, I think it's just then you need a really good UI to make it clear where it's like, oh, you want to print this? No, you have to use this. But instead, I'm having to go to a small printer to see what it can print. And then I go to a medium printer, see what it can print. Mm. Oh, no, I'm dying. Uh, Some weird gas farting monster just killed me. But don't forget, Ian, in the research thing, you can check that by clicking on the different printer sizes. Yes, but but when you're building, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I, there's this medium solar. Um, yeah, bring it back. I have a power platform. Yeah. Oh, it's there? Here. It's right behind you. Got it. Thank you. Yep. I'm going to go back out. Drop off this resin I found. Medium storage. Yeah, I'm trying to print some storage stuff. Wait, yeah. I'm just exploring, seeing what research stuff I can find. Got it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Three hour tour. Large storage, 2000 bytes. 
Um, there was something on one of the earlier streams from them saying not to do large storage, but to do extra large. To just skip large. Yeah, there's like a difference between them. Got it. Maybe it's like a cost benefit analysis. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of resin out here. I'm going to get automated up and running because this game has good noises. Yeah. Just I really want to get automated up and running so I don't have to babysit this stuff like the generators in the furnace. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what automated is. Auto arm. That requires a lot. Oh, man, that went fast. No, it's all good, Red Century, if you're the only one chatting. We, we tend to have smaller stream audiences anyways, but we're, we're paying attention. We're chatting with you. Yeah, we're here for you. We make quality content that nobody watches. That's <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very unfortunate. That's who we are. <laughs> I don't know. We've actually been doing good. I think I think we hit 3250 subscribers. Is that right? Yeah, that... Um... That no clip Dwarf Fortress thing really helped my Dwarf Fortress video pick up again. Yep. Uh, I didn't mean to emphasize my. Yeah, I like <laughs> Sorry. it. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, it's honestly Jake's video. <laughs> he edited it. Um, I, uh, I'm working on the second part of Oak Crafts. I just like, I I wanted someone to draw some stuff, and then. So I contacted them about doing it and they kind of they kind of didn't understand what I wanted. Like I wanted quick and dirty like shots. Yeah. Like sketches. Um, but then I felt bad because they quoted me a big price. Yeah. Um, so I, I did end up hiring them for something else, which I got to check up with them on. But um, so I just like my problem is I understand the plight of artists who want to get paid properly. So as a person who wants to hire an artist, I feel bad if I ask like, hey, can you do this for cheap? Um, yeah, because it's not really the way that it's done. Yeah, so I kind of just have to ask around to see if I know anyone who can do it. Um, I, honestly, I can release the video without the art, but Dwarf Fortress is a large community that loves to do art about things. So I would love to have it as a part of the video. Yeah, definitely. And it, it makes the editing a little bit easier because you can throw stuff into it. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. All right. I, I it's, it's funny. Mm -hmm. It was like yesterday that I remembered there was such a lax period where I didn't have to work on an analysis video. And then all of a sudden it was like, next week. I'm like, oh, so. yeah, I'm like that. Now I played so much Harry Potter video games today. It's not even funny. Um, and they're all terrible. You know what? Here's you know, what I real hate. You know what I really hate, y'all? What? I I really hate that a lot of how-to guides are now YouTube videos. Yep. Thank you. Oh, the worst. You, you're preaching to the choir. The the one benefit is that Google does that thing where they're like, hey, here's the 30 seconds you need to watch of this video. Yep. Yeah, the, but why do they, they do that? They do that because they don't want you to click through. Um. But yes, I agree. I I miss just being able to read something. Yeah. Um, not not to tangent, but I never realized Google would like when you Google something, and they say like like all that Wikipedia information comes up on the side mm -hmm. and everything. They do that so you don't click on Wikipedia. Yes. And give them. Yep. And I never. Someone told me that, and I was like. Oh, and now every time a website Twitter does that now, like Twitter shows scoring for football events. Oh yeah, I just saw that pop up. And, yep. and now my brain immediately goes, "Oh, that's because they don't want me to Google it. They want me to stay on their website." Yep. And then the dystopia gets real. Yep. Well, yeah, it's it's like I, I open up a Facebook shop, so I could go to Etsy, but I would rather go on Facebook shops and do the shop through their stuff because it's one less click and that's one less click for people to not buy my thing so i'm all facebook now 
and it's ridiculous. I need to, I, Zach, I, I've been like, I don't know if you know this, but I keep trying to think of something I want you to make me, and I can't, I like, was just thinking, um, what I really want, but I don't think it would be perfect on a CNC router. I mean, it would be for cutting, but not really 3D, is those, uh, race car tracks where it's just like the map as a thin strip of wood of the circuit. Oh, yeah. Those are neato. Um, but I don't think it's like optimal for a CNC router. Like I know you can do it, but it's it's 2D. It's not really 3D. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the thing I, I the piece of art I commissioned, I'm uh, very excited to show you guys because it includes all of us <gasps> as dwarfs. Uh, I'm very excited. Well, it. it <laughs> Yeah, so I, I just I got to message the guy because he hasn't messaged me since it's been two weeks, and uh, I just want to see where they're at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wish I was I wish I was good at. I mean I'm okay at like art, like graphic design and all that sort of stuff, but I wish I was good at physical like drawing and without like I wish I had natural talent I should say. I could get good at it if I try. All right, I need some. That's why uh, I got into CNC. I need some graphite Design everything. and aluminum. Since y'all are graphite away from the base. Aluminum. Okay, I'm bringing back a research object and some resin. How does it feel to want? <laughs> Feels like usual, honestly. <laughs> oh, baby boy. Did you say there was a button to automatically put down a tether at the yeah, right it distance? Should be T. T. No, not at the right distance. Okay. As soon as you like disconnect from the previous tether, you can place another one after that. Ah. Uh, like you don't have to be connected. You can put that science. There's like a, right in. Yeah. There's a, oh, can I? Oh, should be one that's open. There we go. There's a wiggle room. Tethers connect farther than your personal tether connects, is what I'm trying to say. Oh. That makes sense. But barely. But at least, like, disconnecting tells you when to place another one. Okay. You said aluminum and what? Graphite. Graphite. I don't know what those are, though. Be honest with you. There. They might be underground too. Um, oh, so where are. I don't know where on the research thing is mods for. Oh, yeah, I don't know that either. I'm trying to look now. I hear work. Oh, drill mod. Drill mod two is twenty five hundred bytes. Are you sure that's not for the? There is a drill item you put on a rover. Uh, no. This looks like the one that goes on your thing. Okay. Doesn't look like the rover one. Well. It's right above dynamite. Okay. I think it's dynamite at least. Twenty five hundred. We're almost there. So. We want to do that, but I think the drill mod two lets you level things out, which would be nice. Okay, now this should be. What did I just put on? Okay, let me see if there's any. Ooh, there's a gross thing over there. This research system's a lot better than it was before when I played, which was those research items you're finding, you put them in a machine. And then the machine unlocks a random item for you from it. 
and you could get duplicates. Oh, that's gross. So, like, I remember when I played, I was playing with a friend, and the last thing we needed was a spaceship to go explore other planets. So we were just, like, running around trying to find research items, throwing them in the machine and hoping it was the quote-unquote spaceship. That's insane. Uh, I'd be yeah, so annoyed. annoyed. We should plan to build a, a rover. Okay, I'm I'm at a bunch of like random research stuff, so I'm just kind of doing that right now. Shredder. It's like lit, like little stuff. Okay. Man, I'm getting achievements at the wazoo. I'm gonna put this here. Plug it in there. You know, my achievements aren't popping. Oh, really? Oh, maybe I'm not getting any. I'm getting a bunch. Oh, I got seeds. I just want to build a rover. Right, come Ooh, back down. Red Sentry says he's going to start. He might start a new YouTube channel. The name. Name's pretty good. Ready? ready low fps gaming Ooh. also he said crook smash may do drawings for you well he does drawings for his own videos but i don't maybe i should message him i love crook smash his he does like crayon drawings they're very good um maybe that maybe, maybe that's what you him. need to do is just bring down the quality of your drawings so you can rip them out you know whip them out real quick yeah, no, that was always my intention. His drawings are very good. They're, they're, I, they're still, I mean, maybe they're colored pencil. I always just think of them as crayon. Um, like, it looks like he designs his, like, as a coloring book, and then he colors them. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll, I'll shoot him a message on, uh, I wonder if he's on the subreddit. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll shoot him a message on is there Facebook messaging or not? I Facebook, think YouTube I think messaging. There is like you can message maybe somebody on YouTube. Yeah, maybe I'll try I'm that. Not sure. Okay, here's another research item. I'll plop I'll it right use in. Use mine first. Oh, sorry. I made a large shredder. Um, I uh, there's also some bovine seeds. And by bone vine, I mean bounce vine seeds. Bounce vine. So uh, they're here for you. Can be planted or researched. Yeah. Let's just research them. So somebody yeah. needs to start looking up alloys and stuff, because I need like iron and tungsten carbide. Sentry says you can tweet them. Tweet them? Yeah, maybe I'll tweet them. I, I do follow them. I'll tweet at them. Uh, I wonder if you've seen my video. That would honestly make me. Oh, I'm gonna make my insides all butterflies. That's probably not good. You should go see a doctor. It's weird. I, I don't think about it because it makes my brain hurt. But the fact that 215,000 people have watched my video, like, hurts me. It's kind of disgusting, <laughs> isn't it? <gasps> it's kind of gross. And the fact that I put off that video for so long and that you made fun of me for so long. Yeah. <laughs> about making that video it's like it's like do oh, it. it's the most annoying thing <laughs> but it wasn't just that was before we knew it would take off you were just like shut up about it and make a video oh yeah it was more that you just wouldn't be quiet about it the best part is is i i still don't play dwarf fortress like there's just something about it is like i just really don't play it like i love everything about it except sitting down to play it and it's the weirdest thing to me. It's definitely like a big bike game, you know? Yeah. And honestly, dude, I, I follow the, like, uh, the Steam updates with fur. Like, I get the emails. I read through all of them. And I'm like, yeah, this sounds great. And this is when I will play this game. Like, when there's some UI stuff behind it. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll compound. 
Yeah, I need compound. There's a bunch uh, I just found if you want to follow my tethers. Yeah, where? You should just put a beacon. Oh, which uh, just put a beacon now. This is a whole bunch of tethers now. That thing. So if you find the follow the tethers that go east, Zach, that's where I am. Um, but let me. I think a beacon, you need something, don't you? Yeah, I need quartz to make a beacon. I don't have quartz. Yeah, that's the thing is that we need we need a lot more of the weird resources so we can start smelting it. I mean, honestly, we just gotta start going down. Sit down. Yeah. Or find a cave opening. Yeah, it, whatever you guys gotta do. I just think we we're pretty good on the basics. We just need. Yeah. Let me just Zach. If you come to me, we can get all this quartz and resin. I think I'm headed to you. And then. uh... I'm sorry, are you on, like, the other side of the world? Me? Yeah. Just keep following my tethers. You're not that so far. far. Let me see if I can see you. Maybe I went pretty far. Okay, I'm gonna... There's one split in mine. I think I went the wrong way. Okay, go back to base. I'll show you the one. Just put a beacon down. I don't have quartz. I can't put a beacon down. Just try putting a beacon down. I hate you so much. I mean, you knew it was coming, right? I know. It's just such a God. Go on vacation again. <laughs> I wish. Man, I. Yeah, we got, oh, we got so much done. Dang it. I didn't get to make my joke. I was going to say the uh, that Daisy DLC is on sale, Zach. Make sure you get it. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> Man. Uh, Zach, do you agree? Ian and I were talking about this on Tuesday. The mod was way better than that standalone game. Yes, way better. Way better. I don't know. That was just a complete failure. Uh, but how different? How different is it? It's not like it's just like, I don't know. They added so many things to make it different. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Zach, did you get back yet? No, I'm still working oh, on wait. it. All right, I'm at home base. Okay, okay I'm going to go exploring. Okay. So this one here. Which one? That one. Stay to the uh... left. Oh. The mountain, stay to the left, and you'll Go see to the right. Okay, I'm following. Daddy boy's following. Tethers. You just gotta find a cave. I was down in a cave. Because that's where the, a lot of the good stuff is, right? Yeah, I found a lot of the Whoa, good stuff. What's this thing over here? Y'all see this? It's a crash ship to the left. <laughs> oh wow yeah will how'd oh, you miss something this? i missed yeah usually there's stuff on it oh i saw something oh it's sitting on top of a resource what is that ammonium noise i'll take it Ooh, the other thing is if you find a crash solar panel we can actually bring that back to the base and hook it up to it like it still works yeah, that broken solar panel is the one I brought back. Or the solar panel. No, I mean like okay. like a big one that's like 40, 50 feet long. Like it looks like it broke off a space station. You can bring that back to base and hook it up. I didn't even see this. I ran past it. I gotta get some oxygen.
as a research item. Yeah, grab that. It's right next to me. No, I mean, it's up to you to bring it. No, I'll bring it back. So I also have the shredder unlocked, but we don't have enough to build oh. it. There's three research items here. Oh, let's all grab them. Grab one. Grab it more ammonia. Oh, malachite. Oh, yes. Malachite's aluminum, right? No, malachite is uh, copper. Oh, yeah. I have, I have, I already smelted one copper. I think. There's a lot of oh, resources in this game. Uh, Zach, there's a research object right before you leave. Yeah, I know. Where where is it? Come to me? Right here. Oh, I see it. All right, Red Sentry. Th thanks for watching. Good luck on the boss battle. Bye, Red Sentry. What boss battle? I think he's playing Enter the Gungeon. Oh, nice. Ah. <sighs> Oh no! Wait. Yeah, I um, I haven't had a chance to play Yakuza since Tuesday. Oh, so good. I'm probably, if I get everything to Jake on Saturday, I'll probably be able to play Sunday. Oh, that reminds uh, me, Trackmania comes out next week. Oh yeah. <gasps> That'll be interesting. All right, I'm gonna go explore that mountain some more. Oh, there's another crash thing. No, never mind. Hopefully it's a solar panel. I hear you can hook those directly up. Yeah, to the, the big hole. ones that are like 40 feet long. Yeah. If you drag them back to base. Yeah. They go on the base. I don't know where I heard it. Someone just said it. Oh, shit. Where did I put that mouth? Watch your mouth, boy. <laughs> There's our one. There, I found it. We're good. Uh, Ian, I sent you a game today that we should probably stream. Arma 3? Did you not see it? <laughs> no, it's, it was is that, old Simulator. <laughs> is that real? Because I saw the video. The Steam link didn't work, but I wasn't sure if it was because of the sale. I'm pretty sure it's real. That's crazy. It was just literally pictures of, like, blinds. And it was like, <laughs> you're a... You're a you you love to watch your wife and her boyfriend through the blinds. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what? And then I I sent it to you jokingly. I have no intentions of streaming it, but and then it was so um, stupid. If you noticed, like your wife, it was she was supposed to be undressed, so she was flesh colored, but it also looked like she was wearing jeans because her like her legs were wrinkled. So it looked like oh, that's so good. It's really weird looking. <laughs> Wait, did you spend? Money. Did you buy bites already? Yeah, I bought some stuff, but but it's, okay. I think I bought the wrong stuff because stuff that we can't build until we get more resources. Okay, I'm gonna buy the drill mod two when we're at 2,500. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, right. I'm gonna go uh, to the bathroom quick. Bye bye, bye. <sighs> oh boy. So what other stuff are you printing? Uh, or, I mean making, uh, Zach. Um, uh, so I just got a big order for, I, I'm making these at a Baltic Birch plywood, these ooh. little ABC puzzles. Oh, that's nice. For little children. And, uh, I just got a big order of them for a big store down in Salt Lake to sell them. So I'm super pumped about that. And I just need to go get wood and cut those out. I've noticed that, um, what's it called? The, those like wooden toys, like, you know, Melissa and Doug, that line of kids toys yeah, yeah yeah that's that wooden toy stuff is feels like it's coming back strong oh it's huge and so it's nice to be kind of yeah in this market right now it's nice to be a wooden boy oh nice to be a wood boy i'm a boy i got but like i'm making i'm gonna make a little a little toolbox with a hammer a little oh. level and not level but a little square and wrench and stuff for kids to pretend like they're good at things because they're not yeah. They're not. They're really not. Well, that's nice. Yeah. 
so that's kind of what I'm doing. It's it's nice. It's minorly profitable, but since all my subcontracting of doing the CNC full time with a big one mm-hmm. isn't making much money, it's uh, it's now becoming my main source of income. I'll have to I'll have to keep that in mind now when I have a project yeah. or something that that a CNC would make sense. I'll have to shoot off something to you so you can print it for me. Or yeah, yeah. What would you call? It? Cut it. Cut it? I guess cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it out. Yeah, I, I do lots of stuff. My it's And it's it's pretty accurate. Uh, it's mm-hmm. within, I think, a couple thousandths of an inch. So. You don't have a laser cutter, right, Ty? I have a laser engraver. It's not powerful enough to cut. Gotcha. It can cut through, like, four millimeter stuff or, like, eighth inch stuff if uh, I do a couple passes. But I've never really worked on hard to get it to work properly gotcha no that's fine um so will i know you want i i think i know you want the drill but i th- i think we need to research some power because i no that's fine i'm having to babysit these generators which is slowing down research so i think i'm gonna leave it up to you to find this either the solar panel or the wind generator preferably like a medium or larger i think that'll work for us also, I gotta, I gotta figure out that ammonium that we mined or whatever it was. I can't smelt it, so I'm not sure what to do with it. Probably gotta look that up. Congrats on beating the boss, Red Sentry. Hey, nice, nice. job, Red Sentry. I found somebody's dead Boy. body. Beating bosses. Oh wow. Somebody died, and it was not one of us, and I found their body. Because they had beacons, and they had a horn. That's terrifying. It's kind of weird. Poor guy. There's also jetpacks in this game. Apparently. Okay, I know what I'm planning on doing. I know, right? Give me them jet boys, baby. Oh, so I was gonna tell you. So I've been watching. Um, you guys, you guys ever seen those original Batman movies from the late '80s, '90s? The Joel Schumacher ones. Yeah, there's two. There's two Tim Burton, and then I think it's two Joel Schumacher. Schumacher. Yeah, he did Batman he just Forever. Yeah. yeah, Forever, and then Batman Robin. Batman Robin. <laughs> um, I've I've rewatched the first three, which is Batman, Batman Returns, and Batman Forever. Um, they're not that good. Not sure if you knew that, but they're also no, they're weird. They're pretty weird. Yeah, yeah especially Batman Forever with Devito. Oh yeah, that is that is definitely a weird one. Uh, we need glass. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I need to. You guys see my see me? Nope. Yeah, I see you. You see my beacon? Oh wow, that's a beacon right there. So it's just on my back. You can put it on your backpack and turn it on. That's pretty neato. That was cool. Small printer. Oxygen filters. Let right, go. Hey, Will, you seen any solar panels, the big ones? Yeah, they're like 40. No, uh, 40. I heard they're 40 feet and you uh, can grab them. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I guess. Mm-hmm. You make glass. That's what I don't know. Sand. I know. I need to get up. There's all these natural items. There's got to be like a natural processor or something. Like a natural smelter. Oh, inhibitor mod prints train deformation. Oh yeah, I found that. It wasn't useful to me. I made a I made a power cell by accident, so there's just that. Did you make it or research it? Because we're down on bytes. I um, you know what? It doesn't matter the the syntax, you know. I'm thinking about 
Maybe if it, uh, so, somebody's near the base, they want to just make another research thing, platform on a research, because it's it's going yeah. slow. Where do I I make that at? Uh, medium printer. So you you do medium printer, you do a large platform, and then the research analyzer, whatever it's called. Large platform, two resin. So I, do I have to plug in two resin? Uh, it'll take it from your backpack. Extenders. Oh, I see. Okay, so it has to do a large platform first, right? Yeah. Doing a large platform then. Because I feel like we've got a lot of research items. We're just not researching them fast enough. Yeah. And then you guys know about there's small items that you can research manually when you come across them. Yeah, yeah I've done I'm a doing bunch that. Of voice. Must be Ian that's not doing it. Well, I'm finally exploring a little bit. Insert appropriate resource to unlock. Okay, what is that resource? That's what I don't know. That's compound. I don't even know what resource that is. It's not even on my back. Oh, I found a cave. Oh, that? Yeah, I don't know what it is. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I found a big cave. Ooh, where's it at? Uh, you can follow my tethers. You realize there's tethers all over the place, right? <laughs> what? Can you give me two seconds? No. I was about to tell you what tethers they were. Is it the tether past the craft that you have to input, put the resource in? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Put this over here. So this one? One second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this research thing that you didn't do. What research thing I didn't do? You, had to do a, you made the large platform, but then you didn't make the research. Yeah, I'm, I, st I said I started it and I was leaving. Okay, okay I found a research item already. Another one of those research things, or the pop things. Come on, connect. No. It's not where I wanted you to go. Okay. The problem is we need... We need power. I found a medium platform. Excuse me. Okay, so... How do I pick it up? I need to find power. That's not it. Last of Us 2, Red Sentry's asking, uh, any of us played it? No. 
Yeah, I've, I've not. I haven't played it either. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm ever gonna play it. Eventually, just not. I, I'm. I was deciding between it and Ghost of Tsushima. And oh, I I'm gonna get Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, definitely. I'm just not a big Naughty Dog fan. Don't we know it? I didn't know from that video. Yeah, good point. Oh, shoot. Cool. Ceramic and glass. What are all these resources? Well, are you making out good in that cave of yours? Yeah, I got a couple research objects. Well, I don't I don't think we need research uh, objects. I think we need the, the weird stuff. You know what I mean? No, I'm not saying that's what you need. I'm just telling you what I got. All right, well, I'm going to put that down. Well, there's a bunch of the things that if I explode, they give me research, so. I'm just doing. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the cave. I'll put the beacon down there. Cause I think that's what we're hurting on is some of the weird resources. Otherwise, we could immediately start doing some cool stuff. Ooh, don't starve. You guys ever played Don't Starve? Enjoy it. I've never touched it. I thought it looked cool. It does look cool. I think I just didn't get into it whoa that's one of those those studios that uh i think makes really cool games they like they always make something different uh-huh like they made don't starve and then they made the i mean it's kind of similar but they made the don't like the don't suffocate don't breathe or whatever it's called yeah they make uh Man, I literally just watched a video with them in it, and I can't think of the name of the studio. Oh, what am I... What am I getting? Okay. Oh, I'm getting zinc. Oh, that's not anything important. Oh, there's stuff over here. Whoa! Who's... Who's what? I just found tethers. Oh, are you in my cave? Fuck. Well, I just found your tethers. Go this way. And they're not connecting for some reason, so that's good. Oh, only one person's tethers connect? That's stupid. Wait, what do you mean? My tethers aren't connecting to Zach's. I don't think that's true. Wait, this is where I came down. I've been connecting to other people's tethers. I don't... Unless you're near me, you are not where you came down. Because I followed your path. Hey, Will. Hey, Zach. I'm going to put the beacon where I came down. Wait, Zach, are these your two research you put here? Yeah. So we got four research then. No, but oh. Zach, come over to me. Come this way. See how mine aren't connecting to yours? Oh, weird. Isn't that weird? But oh, once my. you take it, they connect to you. Isn't yeah, that and they connect to you. Right, right, but you can't... It's not connecting to both. I guess that's what I... Oh, I see what you mean. Doesn't, yeah. It doesn't bridge the gap? Yeah, it's not bridging it. Which yeah, it doesn't you... matter because they're right next to each other. But Yeah. I see that. Yeah, my th these I can't get to connect to yours. Oh yeah. wait, you'll just keep taking yeah. away from it. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. Um. What is that? Yeah, I was just headed down on my Ooh, side. Ladder right. Okay. Well, you got two research objects. I've got a bunch more just along my path, too. I'd say just make, make sure to check the cave walls, because I, I just found a huge deposit of laterate in these cave walls.
Man, all of those uh, pods I keep walking past are the same element to unlock it, so. That's good. We find something that looks like that. Oh, you know what? We'll, uh... I think I just found it. I think it's laterite. We'll go back and try oh. it. Oh, I didn't realize these seeds were scannable. Yeah. I never thought to move my mouse up there. Did somebody... Oh, I just found it, too. Oh, sweet, we can open these pods. Oh, man, I almost fell down way down there. Oh, no. I hope it doesn't consume resource. That would kind of suck. Oh, it does consume it. I got a research sample. Oh no, I ran out of tethers. 400 bytes. It's not bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Make it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let me go see if I can smelt this laterite. I think I can. Clay, oxygen not included. Is that the game you're talking about? Yes, oxygen not included. That is the game I'm talking about. Uh, Zach, where'd you go? Uh, I'm over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got laterite too. Yeah, smelt that. Yeah, it, it turns into, I don't know what it is yet, but it's smeltable. I think it's aluminum. I think so too. I'm just not sure yet. I only know that from watching. I wish I could mark spots. Yeah, it definitely makes aluminum. Will, are you looking to get, do you have laterite or are you looking Yeah, I got to get a some? bunch. Okay. I mean, that beak, or uh, thing all over to it. I think I'm full up on it, that's the problem. And I got research object to bring back too. If you want to come my way, my way is really close to base. Oh. Okay. I was just wanted to backtrack to that one, that pod you had so we could unlock it. Oh, the one right here? Yeah. You can just plug it in. The oh. mineral? Yeah. I'm here. So if you take one and do... That's it. I don't know how you plug it in. Insert appropriate. Oh. Here? No. Oh, do you need to carve it out maybe a little bit? Are you sure you need laterite? Isn't it? The, it's the same picture, right? Yeah. Insert appropriate resource to unlock. Why can't I move? Oh, no. I feel like I definitely need to look some stuff up for this game. Oh, it's on this side, Zach. I'll get it. Yeah, research sample. I'll take it. Cool. Uh, you say the way you're going is where to get stuff? Yep. It's, fa oh, it's, it's faster to faster get. Faster to get back up. Gotcha. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna run back and grab my research sample. Oh, there's a point you I have to... totally remember where it is. Got it. Ooh, Hotline Miami. Now that's a good oh, game. That is a good game. Second one, I don't think the second one's bad. It's just not really a sequel. You know? Yeah. I have I have the, the vinyl for the second one, and I have a code for Steam sitting in it, and I wonder if it's still redeemable. <laughs> I don't think I've ever touched it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh, almost lost the research sink to down the cave. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Oh, Zach, you've you've made a hole here. Oh yeah. I can't get out. You can jump. down almost out I can see your tool hey keep it PG-13 <laughs> doing the soil centrifuge Oh no, oh no. I landed in somewhere I don't know. Ooh, 442 bytes we just got. Nicely done. In that research sample. I'm gonna take Laterite with me and go do the two other research pods that we saw. Yeah, that should. I'll allow it. Thanks, Chief. As long as I remember which direction it was. There's a pile of stuff here. Yeah. Hotline Miami, that soundtrack. Oh, I listened to that for like a year straight. It's so good. It's very good. Uh, Red Sentry, uh, Da Vinci Resolve is free, and it's one of the most powerful color correctors, and it is now an amazing video editor. Yeah, I've, I've switched over. It's, it's pretty good, especially for being free. Um, yeah. Like, for example, Will, I, I, I told you about this, how it has it has Fusion within it, which is their version of After Effects, but it's not a separate program. It's a tab within the video. So when I made that mm -hmm. countdown, I used Fusion, and it, literally I would, I would be in Fusion making it, and then I would just click a tab, and I would see it overlaid on the video, and then I would click the tab to go back to Fusion to change the effect, and then click back to the video. So I didn't have to switch between programs. It made it so seamless. It was great. Yeah. I, I bought Resolve years and years ago when I was a color corrector for a thousand bucks, and now it's like literally exactly the same thing for free or really cheap. Yeah. And I still get all, all the upgrades. Uh, I, I love I love Black Magic Design. I will I will be a fan of them forever. Uh, it's Da Vinci Resolve. Oh. Leonardo Da Vinci.
base is growing pretty well. Nice. There's so much stuff in here that I, I really need to, like, look stuff up to see what's worth researching and what's not. Ian, I haven't touched fusion in uh, Resolve, so it, it, it I, I had no idea. I thought it was the audio part of it. No, that's it's, um, uh, fusion. The audio part is... I forget what the audio part is called. The audio part's the yeah. another tab. Um, so do you get... Is it, is it can you do 3d modeling in it or is it not not like heavy 3d modeling but can you it's oops. it's like after effects so you can do some 3d stuff but it's mostly yeah. it's mostly for 2d effects like um you probably didn't see it but at the start of the video today i had a countdown timer and the countdown timer was like a circle and the circle was slowly unwinding itself if that makes sense and i okay. and i built that in fusion so it's basically a replacement for after effects for premiere wow um, I didn't realize they added that much. But it's it's pretty interesting because they don't do layers. It's like a flow chart with nodes design, if that makes oh, yeah. sense. So it's it's kind of interesting how you do it. Like you, like for example, I had it all put together, and then I put there's like a, a main output which is like your end result. So right before that, I had a node that said transform. So everything fed into the transform node, and then in the transform node, I could size or skew or do whatever I wanted to everything right before it got to the output. So it was like, it's cool. It's, it's, I don't know if it's better or worse than layers, but it's just an interesting way to look at it. Cause you get a very visual representation of like, okay, these three effects are feeding into this one image. And then these three effects are feeding into this other image. And now I'm going to merge those two images into one and then output mm -hmm. it. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Have you ever dealt with node editing? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, Blender's the same way. I'm starting to learn, or trying to learn Blender right now. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of uh, Node stuff. And, I mean, I trained on DaVinci, so that's kind of been my my life. I, whenever I go to, like, Photoshop or uh, GIMP or In Inkscape, layers kind of confuse me. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, there's a pile right here. Yeah, it's enormous. I got this dirt goober. A uh, stupid cave. I'm just, I feel like my experience with this game for the last 45 minutes is just like pure stubbornness not to open a browser and look stuff up. But I, yeah, I, I'm about the same. I really, really need to though. Yeah. Like this ammonium, I I don't know what to do with it, but I, I have a soil sample here, right? Oh, so this is like, I don't want to call this end game, but I can take these soil samples and it spins out a resource from them. Oh, but I can, Ooh, I can I select the resource. Okay. But I don't know what to do with ammonium. Okay, we got a bunch of ladder, right? That's good. It's a shame. I unlocked those auto arms, but we don't have either of the resource to build them. Oh, gotcha. Wait, so if I put this on my backpack, then I can fill it, maybe? Oh. Yeah, I wasn't sure what it did. The, the soil canister, you mean? Oh, no. I meant the power cell. No. Oh, I must have fell down a huge cliff. Oh, okay. All right. So that's a way to cheat in a way. So if you have a soil canister and you just suck up the ground, it fills the soil canister. And then you use the soil centrifuge 
to select what item you want out of the soil. Oh. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna like eat this. Uh, what does the drill mod two print on? I don't know. Maybe the small. In in the research, it'll tell you. Oh yeah, I think it's small. Where's our small printer? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's over by the wind turbine. I love the backpack in this game. Uh, yeah, it's Da Vinci Resolve. I don't know what Filmora is, but if you just look up Da Vinci Resolve, it should be just one program that you download. That gets you all of it. It's kind of all in one. Um... Oh, Filmora is just another app. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. I don't even know if I can put links in here. It'll probably get mad at me. Probably. Oh no, it didn't yell at me. What do I want? I want a large shredder, which is maybe not. Game stores, rover seat. No, maybe it isn't the ceramic and glass. I don't know how to build that. Uh, there was, I did have clay, which was ceramic. Oh, really? Yeah, somewhere in that pile of, of stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I want. I'm gonna make some clay. Yeah, that soil centrifuge is nice. So the good news is this is a server, so we can just keep it up all the time. I mean, it will be up all the time. Um, nice. I don't know. We were thinking about streaming this again on Saturday. Saturday is kind of an open stream window. Uh, what, what's any news on that, Will? Uh, yeah, I'm down. Um, yeah, so maybe we, maybe we stream this then. Yeah. But you, Zach. Wait, do we? Uh, I'm fly fishing Saturday morning, and then uh, probably busy. But I might be able to pop in. Okay, yeah, I mean, I think for right now we're going to shoot for our normal window, right? Or do we want to stream earlier? I would say hey, earlier. It's totally up to you. Let's, let's do earlier. Okay, so... Seven in the morning. Where if we do a chemistry lab? I'm gonna see, can I smelt the clay? Uh, I wanna say yes. Make some graph. Oh, a pave. Oh, chemistry lab. 1600 bytes. Yeah, but need. but look at what it takes to make the chemistry lab. Ceramic, glass, and tungsten. Because that's the problem I was making. I was researching items that we couldn't even build. Yeah, we need to find tungsten. Honestly, I think the focus right now should be power, which is mostly the wind turbine. Ooh, there we go. I got ceramic. Okay. That's good. So I, I would recommend if you guys can having... Oh, do you see the drill mod you build on yourself? Yeah. Well, we need tungsten. Uh, I, I forgot to check before I researched it. Like a dingus. We need tungsten carbide, I think. So I would recommend 
putting some small canisters on yourself, because that way while you're mining, you're at least getting dirt. Because then you can bring it back and that dirt we can turn into either clay. We can also turn it into other stuff. True. So how do I print out? How do I make canisters? Uh, on your backpack. Small canister. Okay. Ooh, strong question from Red Century. What did you have for breakfast? Hmm. I had a bowl of dino bites. I had a no way. No way. <laughs> no way. Although I had the off brand. You didn't have actual dino bites? No, I just had some sort of dino bites knockoff. Like triceratops. choppers. Uh, dino bites is the knockoff of Choco Pebbles. Or chocolate yeah, mine, Choco Pebbles. Mine's a knockoff of, knockoff of the knockoff. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. What about you, Ian? Uh, well, when we were down in Florida, my sister bought a bushel of peaches. So they made peach cobbler twice. We had peaches every morning for breakfast, but they also made, like, not an exaggeration here, probably, like, 18 to 20 jars of peach jam. So I had uh, mm. uh, toast with, um, I've seen this before, but Maggie's really got brought it back in my life is you take toast, you put butter on it, and then you put the jam on top. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. So good. It's good. So good. That's crazy. Do you guys uh, keep, uh, like, salted butter around your house? Uh, or are you no. also unsalted butter? I do unsalted, because then I like, can control it. Yeah, so, so salted butter means you can leave it out, and so you just put it in a butter dish and leave it oh. out forever. And one of the greatest things in the world is to just have room temperature butter. Oh, Zachariah. Ready to spread. Zachariah. Everything. Have you heard of a butter bell? I'm sorry. What did you call me? Zachariah. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Zachary <laughs> and not Zachariah, but. Correct. Uh, I want to name my kid Jebediah, but Mackie won't go for it. It's just an aside <laughs> there. Um, butter bell. So the basic premise of a butter bell is that it's a container of butter that is then suspended upside down in a small amount of water so that the water seals the butter. So it's at room temperature, oh. but it doesn't spoil. It is incredible. You just change the water like once a week and then you just make sure if you get like breadcrumbs in the butter, it will get moldy after a week or two. But yeah, like we've switched over to carry gold, which is really good Irish butter, unsalted, pack it in the mm. butter bell. And it's just, it's, it's so good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 100% worth die, it. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh. Okay, there's no graphite in this pile. If anybody no, there me. isn't. That was a close one. Excuse me. So, but, but I like salted butter. I didn't realize how incredible it is. Like when you're it having pancakes good. and you just slather on like a tablespoon of salted butter, it, no matter where it, it makes you feel like you're fancy and you're in like a, an actual restaurant and not your house naked. Is there is there a huge <laughs> I'm afraid? Is there a huge difference though between? I don't have a great sense yes. of taste, so. Yeah, I, I'm. It's, it's somehow just like a completely different, different beast. Well, so yeah, I could believe that because the other thing is I've switched over to. Um, What's it called? I've switched over to... Oh, boy. Give me a second here. Let me think Pretty about it. Pretty easy. Let me think about it. I've switched over to European butter, which is better because it has it tends to have like a higher fat content. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a bit more creamy. And that's definitely... What's the difference? Oh, Jesus! Hey, Jesus. I'm trying to find this extra large storage. Which I know we won't be able to afford. Oh, I found it. And we need iron for it. Um, we might have to go to another planet to get certain resources. Oh, that's true. So, uh, what what time do you guys want to call it? I'm not ready yet, to be honest with you. But I just want to see how oh, y'all oh, feeling. Oh, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm having so much fun. 
I am having a blast, but I also... <gasps> Wait, Salvatore says yeah. this isn't Toontown? Is this marked as Toontown? Let me check it. Is he on YouTube? Because that's the thing I was talking about before stream. That it looked like? how it still says Toontown, even though we switched it to... Uh... Let me see if I can fix that for y'all. Because this ain't Toontown. We played that on Tuesday. Um, yeah, that's the thing I was talking about pre-stream. Oh, it does say. Is, yeah, but oh, if you go to the thing, it still says Astroneer, so I, I just don't get it. Let's see what happens. It changed it. Okay. Jebediah is a Gyoku. Sorry, Salvatore. No Toontown. Yeah, sorry. Wow. That was. Excuse me? Who was doing that, huh? Uh, Who's doing well. what? Hey, you got a battery. You're welcome. <laughs> what did I do? Um, I'm collecting resources. How do I empty out the soil from this canister? Oh, you just, you attach it to the front of this uh, soil centrifuge behind you. You do. And it should empty it. Okay, all right. I really, you know, I, I thought I liked the printers, but I don't think I do because I feel like the nice thing about a crafting table is it's like you have everything in a single place. And this is just... Ugh. It's getting too much to manage. I'm sorry, buddy. I broke down. I'm going to the Astroneer wiki. Uh-oh. Here we go. Input is quartz is into the, the... Okay, so I'll just make some quartz. At the, well, that makes sense. I'm gonna make some quartz out of this soil. Jebediah. Anyone asks why there's a small oh, container brother. full of soil in the centrifuge that it's fallen in there and I can't get it out. It's just there. It's just there forever. <laughs> oh. Well, I just picked up the whole centrifuge to move it. Oh. Well, aren't you special? God damn right I am. I ain't you a can of cream and a sea of quartz. I'm gonna go dig. Oh, you stupid idiot. I see the gateway. Do you guys see the gateway? Oh, gosh darn it. Who built this, you moron? Do you guys see the gateway? What gateway? Here, everybody, everybody come back to home base. Or everybody, everybody gather on home me. base. Where are you, Will? Over here. All right, fine. You don't deserve it. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Let's go. So the gateways, I think, about? are the north and south pole, or maybe there's eight of them. Do you have tethers, by the way? Yeah. Okay, you want to drop tethers? Where are you? Um, Oops, that one didn't land properly. I don't have a beacon. Okay, so head. You know, I don't know how to tell you where I am, to be honest with you. If you oh, here you Over the, your feet. Uh, head north, Will. Oh, yeah, that's been there forever. Did you guys look at it? No, but I didn't want to. It's big. It's important. Let's go party, boys. I got a bunch of tethers. Oh, that one didn't connect. <gasps> Whoa! Did you find a solar panel? Somebody's really bad at dropping tethers. I was running and just hitting F. It's T, Will. Yeah. I mean T, sorry. I was hitting F when I said that. Goober! Oh, we got a small battery. Nice. Yeah, once I have that salvager up and running, then we can throw all that debris in. Is somebody still dropping tethers? No. 
happy to get up. Look, I evened it. Wait, how did you do that? Isn't there a way to... Well, we need drill mod 2 to do it. Oh, really? Pretty sure. Oh, no. Who's got drill mod 2? Nobody, because we don't have tungsten yet. How are you doing that? Control. Do you have a, do you have a drill mod too? No. Oh, we got to power this up. You don't have any mods? Hey, don't you have a small battery? Because if I hold control, do. I can't do that, Zach. Really? But it doesn't connect yeah. to it. But can I make a small platform? Because I, I think we have to hook. Yeah, we have to hook in generators. That's all I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this white. Oh, what's this? Thing over here. Hey, you must have a mod, Zach. Wait, did I just find Tuxton? What is this? Yeah. What, the macaroni? No, not the macaroni. Wait, the, the white thing I just built? No, it was something gray. We can't see that. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh, Zach just got some. What is it? What is it on the back of your thing, Zach? Uh, hold on. A Q. Graphite. Graphite. That's probably gonna be tungsten, maybe? Maybe. Maybe it's gra grun grunken? Ooh, there's some. Uh. Graphite. Oh, there's some more over there. Yeah, I have a little bit on me. You know what? I'm not done playing yet. I'm going to keep playing. Same as these. Yeah, I might hop off in a second, but I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. It's a good game. And the server is up, so. Server. That's true. Uh, oh, hot question from Red Sentry. What do you guys think about furries? Um, Bad. You know, do your thing. Yeah, I you just, know, um, the thing that, that upsets I'm me. I'm not into it, is but do it. When I go to the Renaissance Festival and there are furries there, like, interacting with kids. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because for you, yeah, if it's a sexual thing, keep it in the bedroom. If you, like, identify as a fox and you want to dress as a fox 24-7 and it's not sexual, then that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. My, my thing is, 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 is you can do whatever you want as long as it's not hurting someone or, and, <laughs> or not or, uh, but I guess or, and it's consensual. Yes. And it's, you can do whatever you want as long as I'm getting off too. <laughs> yeah, and part part of the consent is also like being clear about it, you know, about what it is and mm -hmm. what's going on here. Yeah. Ian, it was yeah. one time, and I dressed up as a hippo, so and I, I told you I liked it. I just <laughs> wish you'd ask permission first. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm gonna get quartz, and then. Turn that into glass, and then I'll get a wind turbine. But I've got quartz. I almost have enough graphite to make it a thing. Can you stop? Who oh, stopped me? Stop. No, Zach. Building up around me. Okay, I have graphite. Wait. Oh, yeah, I have graphite. Well, I think you just need to have soil on you, and then you can... Oh, oh, is it because I don't have the soil? Yeah, because be. I have a canister. Oh, I don't have a canister. That's why. Okay, stop digging me in, bro. <laughs> stop digging me in, bro. Go down here. <laughs> I'm so much fun. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, it is. Oh, 
Now my character gets stuck sometimes. My character's just running by himself now. Yeah, my guy, my guy did that for a second. Hey, Ian, don't you, didn't you have that small battery on you? Can't we hook it up to? No, because it's a this? it's a cable plug, and not a socket. Um, so we need to like, I think if we had a small a platform small generator, if we had a platform, and then we put the generator on the platform and we connect it. You know, what, let me let me do that. If you guys are still over there, I'll I'll grab one real quick and come back over. Oh, you went back already? Yeah, I went back. I got a bunch of stuff to bring back. But we need three small generators. Oh, well, no, we don't. It's three plugs. Yeah, but we could just connect the platform to all three plugs. Wait, where did the graphite that I got go? You get a full smarget of it? No. Excuse me? Ian, what's this creepy theater that you're in? You never seen Twin Peaks? No, because I'm not. Oh, <laughs> what? <I'm> not... <laughs> Watch it, boy. I'm not. I don't know. I can't even make jokes anymore. You never could. Oh, is that from Twin Peaks? What you're at? Yeah, it's from Twin Peaks. So you watch bad television. Twin Peaks is very weird, but it's also pretty good. I haven't watched hey, TV Will. in forever. I got some bovine seeds. Hey, Zach, what if you went and put them inside yourself? Pleasurably. You know, as long as it's consensual. Ceramic. Not with you. You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Time for me to make some wind turbines. <laughs> Oh, it's because that's quartz, not glass. Dingus. First rate dingle hopper. I want a bigger backpack. Where are you going, Thunder? Okay. I don't think we're going to solve the gateway tonight. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I don't think we are either. I'm running back to base because I got a bunch of stuff on me and Zach's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. Why is this not printing? Oh, it's short on. Get away from me. I see your... <laughs> I see your mouse. Uh... You guys have any organic matter you can bring? No. Uh, yeah, I got some on me. I gotta turn off this research. Listen, stop. The worst. Not at home base. There we go. We got glass. What'd you make glass from? Quartz? From quartz that I got from the soil. Okay, I need to build a large platform. So how do I, uh, what was the thing you guys have? Is a small canister? Yeah, small canister, yep. build it on your backpack. Then it fills up with dirt, and then you throw the dirt into the dirt centrifuge, and then you can request items like quartz, and then the quartz gotcha. melts into glass.
Oh man, I'm really worried about all this stuff just disappearing, glitching out. Yeah. Well, we should build holders to hold everything. A bunch of storage stuff, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll... Oh, you There's... know what? Okay, we gotta get iron. Because I unlocked extra large storage. So, let's see. Which is iron. Iron comes from hematite. Hematite comes from cave layers. Oh, you know what? We can't get iron. It's on a different planet. Oh, no. Dang. Yeah, I, I am going to research large storage. I know they say not to, but... We got this storage over here. Yeah, we just need a place to put everything. Oh, oh, gosh. It's 2,000 bytes. We'll get there. Okay, let me see if I can get... I wish there was an easy way to see... Power. How you're doing on power. Okay, so nobody research anything because I'm going to research large storage. in the hole over here. Hi, Ian Watterson. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Trying to flatten this all out. Stop! Wait, is, wait, why is... I'm not hitting the button. Okay, you gotta click off or something. It was locked, sorry. I need... <laughs> you, you kept yelling and I kept being like, you're the one doing it. <laughs> Okay, that should be pretty flat now. Too bad this tether got lost underground, but at least at least it's still connected. Okay, covered up all the holes. It's daytime, we're happy. Mm -hmm. This is going well. There's a large platform that was printed. Ooh. I'm jumping. I'll add it over here to my solar farm. I mean, my wind farm. Okay, we're doing pretty good. I, I feel like a lot of this is just figuring out what the tech progression is, because that's not very clear. 
Yeah. Like, how do we make a shuttle to the next thing? I, I did see that as a research object. But where? What do you mean, where? <clears throat> where in the research, like large, medium, small? Well, I, I, I think that's a problem. But, I, but what I'm more talking about is it's very easy to research an item at the start that you don't have the resources for that's on a different yeah. planet. So it's it, it's not like... I don't want it to be super linear, but this is not really a tech tree, <laughs> you know? It's like a tech smorgasbord. Yeah. And that's that's frustrating to me. Don't research anything, though, because I need this large storage, which I just got. Yeah, I'm not doing anything. So once we get iron, then we can do the extra large storage. We still don't know tungsten carbide. You want me to look that up? Yeah, I just see what it is. Three ceramic. Whoa. Oh. Sorry, we both went for that at the same time. Okay. Tungsten carbide is tungsten and carbon. Carbon is organic. Oh, if you put organic in the smelting furnace, then you get carbon. That makes sense. Tungsten is from Wolframite, which is from two other planets. Gotcha. What's our what's our normal <clears throat> planet called? Silva, I think is the planet we're currently on. Yeah, so we can't get tungsten carbide until we get a different planet. Gotcha. Okay, so I've got this wind farm going. Which is good, because it means we're researching Where's that? much faster. I'm hiding in the shelter. Sorry, where you were. Hello. Okay, baby boy. I need ceramic. I'm trying to organize everything. Yeah, I, I'm going to print some large storage, but I need ceramic, so just keep clay on here. Yeah, I will. It has, like, a priority, if you've noticed, which is annoying. Yeah. I'll try to keep everything the same. Oh, you do got a little organization going. Yeah, I'm going to try to organize everything. Okay, so... We are a little low on power right now because of no wind. Gotcha. So I want to do some batteries. What if you put these up on where I'm building this? Because I see I see the wind up higher where. Oh, there they go. Now they're going on. Yeah, I want to get some batteries going. All right, I think I'm going to get off. That's okay. disgusting. Thanks, well, Zach. Got to get some joy somewhere. That oh, is gross. Uh, I'll see you guys on the server. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye Zach. Thanks for coming. Of course. Thanks bye. for having me. I'm not leaving. I know you're not. I'm not leaving either. Lithium and zinc is what we need for the medium battery. Lithium is not available. Okay, got it. So I guess we're just a bunch of small batteries then for a while. I really want to be able to search this. Small battery is lithium. Hi, Maggie. Okay, let's, um, before I hop off, I want to get all this stuff attached to things, if that makes sense. So I'm printing a large storage now. Oh, 
Or at least I want the important stuff. I'm gonna plant this. See what happens. I'm gonna plant some of these seeds. Okay. Okay. Bye, yeah. Red Century. Enjoy Hotline Miami. Bye, Red Century. Oh, man. I kind of want to play Hotline Miami now that it's been said multiple times. Okay. And then we need resin to do... No, I figured there was a way to do. If you shift click it, sends it automatically to your backpack. Oh, that's good to know. Right. Man, laterite and fillerite look way too similar. Yeah, I feel like this game has made a lot of improvements <gasps> since I last played it, but it's it's not quite as streamlined as I'd like. Yeah. Does ammonium make anything? No. You want me to look it up? No, I, I, I was just checking the furnace. So much crap on my backpack. I think. Whoa, organize. See how organized I'm getting? You're just dumping stuff. Yeah, it's because it's your job. I don't want to step on your toes. Got him. Okay, you ready? You ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Where do you want this? What is it? Storage. We're going to put a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, wherever. Well, I think it's got to go. You know, let me just put it next to the other storage. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this storage only has... Don't, don't put anything things. on it. Don't put anything on it. Oh. Oh, I see. Boom. Oh. Maybe move this soil thing somewhere else? Yeah, if you want to move it. I kind of like keeping the storage next to the stuff that needs to be smelted. Yeah, that's true. But this is good, because you're within reaching distance. I'm just going to move... How do you move a platform? Oh, you know what? If it... Oh, I think you have to disconnect it. And then I need. Where's all the. Do we not have any more ceramic? Uh, I think we're out. There's one more thing on. Ugh, why did you do that? See, it, pri it prioritizes, so now I have to wait. No, no, no. no. I, I had just put it on. I had found it and put it on. Come on. Okay, so you're fine with organizing all this stuff and then... Yeah, I'm gonna do it right That's now. That's copper, copper. That's ceramic. Do you have any dirt? Um... Throw in dirt, make some clay real quick, and get ceramic. Because I, I need ceramic to make it. I want to make another large storage. 
Ooh. So that we can just duplicate this setup here. How do I put this thing into the uh, put it there? Yeah, and then you put it at the top. I'm gonna go grab some more soil somewhere. Ceramic, you said? Uh, no, do clay. clay. Clay becomes ceramic. Dirt. How much uh, clay did you get? Uh, just one thing of it. Okay. All right. Clay. Oh, wow. You know what? I think we finally ran out of... Did you delete my trees? Yeah, I harvested them. What happened to them? I just got research from them. Oh, they just grew up into something you could research? Yeah, they just grow up into, like, the bigger plant. Okay, I'm gonna plant another one. As those grew quickly. Yeah, because I saw them and I was like, how did these plants get so close? And I realized. And shift click puts them in my back. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, what I was hitting. Okay, all right. Large storage coming up. Shortly. Oh, come on. Okay, printing another large storage. And then, I'm, well, what do we need? We need. We need. Four medium storage containers. Okay. Okay. We don't, because I have one here. Okay. There's two ceramic gear for you, three ceramic gear for you. Oh, perfect. So we can do another large storage. Yeah, I just I, I've had issues in the past where stuff stuff is on the ground. You save, you come back, 
and the stuff on the ground is gone. Yeah. But this is a this is a persistent server, right? So. Well, but I think it'll shut down if nobody's there. on. Oh really? I wasn't sure if it just kept running. Okay, I'm gonna put. You want me, do you want this to put next to or or in line? I put it there. Got it. Okay, and then I'm gonna make one more large storage. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, there's two more ceramic there. I don't know if you need them or not. I don't think so. Okay. We're doing pretty good. I think we just gotta get more in the groove, you know? Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. Okay, that guy's full. Ran through all of our resin. Ooh. Yeah, you did. Yeah, this looks good. I really like having all this storage. Is there any resin, resin immediately nearby that we know of, or no? Uh, not that I can think of. Yeah, I'll just deal with it tomorrow. It just means I can't. This final last storage, large storage, I can't fully pack it with mediums. I can only put two mediums on it. Come on now. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Look at all that storage now. It's a bunch. All right, so I'm gonna put a bunch over here. Oh yeah, we're looking good. We got so much resources. Yeah. Okay, and then this stuff I wanna put here. Power, you said power cells are consumable? 
I think so. I know, uh, no, batteries are consumable. There's something that's consumable. It looks like it's power. Maybe it is power. Something's consumable. I know one of them is. Just trying to put this stuff down if we can. At least let it get some energy storage, because that's the problem is when the uh, power goes out. I mean, when the wind dies down. Okay, I think it may be time to call it. At least for me. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff, though. I think tomorrow we focus on... I mean, Saturday we focus on building this ship. I, I say we do whatever we want, it's just when we take off in the ship, it's got to be on stream on Saturday. Yeah. All right, folks, so that's going to do it for us this evening. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'll keep this short. We're Subpixel Films. Dot com. That's where you can find our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Twitch, Facebook, Mixer, Instagram, and Twitter at Subpixel Team. You can find Will at Hunt27. You can find me at Think Gibson. We're going to be streaming Saturday. Uh, not sure of the time yet, but check us on Twitter. We'll let you know. Probably, probably 5 p.m. Eastern. I think that's a safe bet. But otherwise, we'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for joining, Will. <gasps> no problem. Bye.